she, looking over her shoulder at, still looking at him as she's called to him to, you know, go join in the altar room, the ritual room, looks over and sees that he's missed form. And in slow motion from her perspective, she just sees Keyleth step forward, wind blowing around her, releasing this beam and watching him be disintegrated. Immediately her eyes open wide and she screams out, No! Silas! And you can see like her whole body shaking now at this point. The uh, the the horror of seeing her partner, the love of her life, disintegrated before her. Uh, tears immediately burst down her face, and her hands are shaking in there. She just screams out, "You can't! I broke the world for us. No." Silas, I broke the world for us. It is now Lady Delilah Briarwood's turn. Looking around, heaving with anger and frustration, she um, uses, kind of looks around her area, the, the, the tears streak down her face, blood streak down one side of her head. She looks at Cassandra, who currently right now is faltering, sees everything closing around her. It's too soon. It's our only chance. And uh, with that, she is going to step around here. Somebody hit her. Again. Hit her. Can I go for a trip? Can I try and trip her? Uh, no, this is it's just a single melee attack. Fine, I'm just gonna beam her in the head. Natural 20! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay! Uh, Go ahead and roll uh, damage. That's awesome. Oh, we got wow. the MVP over here. Bam! Uh, five, ten, twelve damage! Kick out! Well, bam! Ow! Crack! You hit her in the back of the head as she stumbles forward and kind of looks about the rest of you. And uh, she is using her second and only, last fifth level spell to attempt to cast another dimension door. Oh no! Uh, out of the sight of the one who previously uh, dispelled it with that. Can I counterspell that? You have no visual it. on her. She is behind the pillars. This time she knew where you were and was not about to let that happen again. She disappears behind the pillar and you guys watch her step in the doorway and vanish from sight. Delilah! She's running away! No. She's doing something much worse. Seriously. She's still Hunter's Mark. <coughs> She's oh. Hunter's Mark! She still has Hex on her for as long as that lasts. Said, that lasts a while. Yeah. Make another constitution statement for her. 13. All right. So as you guys all kind of look around yourself, Silas disintegrated. Cassandra kind of still holding the blades and looking around and is like going from a fight position, almost like a cornered creature, to you know, looking at the sundering of her brother and is just looking completely frazzled and confused. Like she's ready on the verge of tears or a, a, a rage of her own. Um, you're, you look over and you see your brother down below and he's just kind of standing there, his dagger's still dropped to the ground in front of him and it's been staring into space this entire time. I float down in front of him and slap him across the face. Like that? Okay. Um, you know how it feels. Make another saving throw. No. Okay, you just slap. Slap. He's taking it. If it's can, I, can I go over to, to Vax? She's I'm gonna remove curse on him. You cast remove curse. Uh, okay. Uh, this is not considered a curse, so as the spell is uh, alleviates his energy into Vax, he still stands there staring into space. Oh, <laughs> Oh god. Oh wait, are we, are we slapping Vax? Let me try. Uh, yeah, so it, a little time goes by and then eventually uh, it wears off. It does? I'm gonna start looking at that door and figuring out a way to... Is Cassandra still actually. there? Yes, yeah, she is. Can I grab her by the neck and walk her to the edge of the pyramid? Yeah. So uh, you grab her, lift her up, and she's just... <laughs> no, drops no, weapons. no. As Grog takes her to the edge no, of the let's cigarette. not. Let's not. Just Why not? I walk up to Grog and her, and I face Percy and say, repeat what Grog said. Why not? Is he still under her spell? She's been here a very long time. Let's just let's just knock her unconscious and let her be. I turn towards her and I punch her across the jaw as hard as I can. Okay. Uh, at this point in the damage, she's taken the mental shock she's in in the current circumstance. The one hit just whack clocks her and she goes unconscious in his grip. You Limp. can um, handcuff her behind her back and we can. We do have manacles. Yeah. Can I, <laughs> can I pick up <laughs> Silas's oh, yeah. iron sword? You can, yeah. Whoa. What, is, uh, what does a common healing potion do, by the way? 
Uh, it, it'll require a short rest to really tune and get the nature of it, but it is a very beautiful looking weapon. Okay. Find us keepers. I'll put it in the bag. Did you, okay. did you, you picked up his, uh, sword? Sword. Yeah. sword, good. That's why I had him drop it. Yeah, I noticed. So he wouldn't disintegrate with it? Yep, and so oh. I, uh, one of us, possibly me, could use Have it a better too. sword than your piece of shit? My, yeah. Yeah. So we have to it? find her, yes. she's somewhere close. I'll give him the sword. He's got the onyx sword. Uh, there is a brooch also left in the ground from yeah. the ash that was left behind. So, okay. can I see from being on the roof what's inside the building? Because you said there's no roof to that. What is a, what is a That temple that I was up on top uh, of. Correct. I mean, uh, the, there, it's, there's a, if you're looking inside of it right now, uh-huh. lamps if I over, was. there is the open kind of, uh, it's an open roof square construct. There are two hallways that lead on the inside from both sides. Um, the walls have a strange kind of icy texture to them. It's hard to make out the details right here. What little bit of light is in there. There is a central platform that rises up in the middle. Um, there is a stairway on the opposite side of the room that leads up to that platform. And there are a series of grooves in the ground that form some sort of shape that you can't make out from this viewpoint. Um, but you do see Lady Briarwood atop that platform right now. I did everything you asked. I took Whitestone. I unearthed this place. Now bring my Silas back. Honor our bargain. Can I drop the rope down from the, the roof uh, where I'm at so everybody can get up in? Yeah. Can you get up and over? Yeah. Yeah, here you go. She light lowers the rope and starts taking guys up one by one. Uh, Vex, you do notice out of the corner of your eye as you lower the rope, um, there is a flash of greenish light from the center platform. And from the distance you can see, uh, Delilah is up on the platform reading from some sort of scroll. Do me um, I shoot an arrow at her? How far away is she? Uh, she's about 80 feet from you. Uh, you notice all the, the ice in the walls shatters and kind of clinks to the ground. You can hear like the sound, distant sound of a million little shards of ice clinking around the ground and you can see the walls almost like they're moving or writhing slightly. Uh, can I shoot at her? Yeah, yeah. If you'd like to, yeah. Uh, I want to. Okay. Okay. Great, then uh, 13. 13, arrow whoosh, disappears in the darkness. Can I hit her again? Go for it. 20 was the second hits. arrow that I shot at her. <laughs> 20? Purple and removable. Uh, 20 would hit you. 19 damage? Yes. Okay, uh, strikes her. The um, the arrow hits and kind of gleans off of her. The damage, much like Percy's, is not quite having the full uh, Aim for the full scroll. damage you'd want to. However, however, as, as that hits, she reaches into her pocket and pulls something out. Uh, Percy, you get to the top there. Who's up next? I'll go. I'm, I'm taking, I'm gonna take a 80 feet. Well, before that happens, as a reaction to that, she pulls something out of her hand, there's a streak of red light that arcs upward, and there's a slight streaking sound as a familiar arcane blast hits. A fireball oh, bursts shit. on the roof area around all of you. <coughs> shit. Uh, I need a dexterity saving throw from all three of you guys up there. 36 points of fire damage. To no. you, 18 to both of you guys. All right, Keel, if you make your way up to the top. I'm going to shoot for the scroll with fire. Misfire? Misfire, can I use the... The, the natural roll is still what hits for the misfire, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try and fix it. No, it's... Pepperbox is broken. Pepperbox is completely broken. Yeah, unusable. Delilah! Stop! Uh, at this point, the scroll... God damn it. ...vanishes. Bonus action at the top of this turn, gashes across her wrist and spreads her own life's blood across what looks to be, you now see this dark orb about a foot in diameter that's resting in the center of this upper platform. You can see her shaking with fear and, and trepidation during this whole circumstance. Make a perception Spear. check, those are up top, by the way. Those who got 15 or higher, you notice the writhing on the walls, the walls are encased in what looks like a tapestry of bodies. Uh, hundreds of humanoid individuals that are kind of woven into each other, oh, each gross. missing their left hand and or left eye from their body. And they're all just are they squirming dead? and writhing. Many of them are in various states of decay. Um, and they're just moving after that ice that was encased in them had shattered. Uh, 
Uh, there's this low, kind of weird moaning drone that's beginning to fill oh, the room. Jesus. The black orb itself is starting to rise out of the center of the pedestal as well. Um, um, now, Vex and Vax, you guys, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to guzzle a potion and I'm going to shoot Percy's special arrow, question oh mark, God. at the orb. So I'm just going to throw two daggers at her. The first one is uh, not good at all. That's a 14, and the second one is hits. That's a 28. It's just seven points of damage. Okay. No. 15. 15. Uh, the arrow just misses past and slams into the bottom of the pillar. You see just a, a muffled explosion and light flash, and uh, it kind of rocks the center of it, but she still maintains concentration. She looks over at where it came from. I'm going to pull out a fancy rope from my bag, okay. and I'm try to fly towards the orb. Okay. And I'm scaling. I'm going to tr try to cast Suggestion on her. Okay. And I will say... <clears throat> Stop! <laughs> Collaborate and listen. I see Because I'm a gnome who's on a mission. Follow me as I kill your husband the lich, <laughs> and I'll make you my bitch. Husband was a vampire. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, uh, whatever. It's in rhyme. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Hail Mary Pass. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, she rolled a 19. What's your DC on that? Oh my. 19. 19. God. Yeah, with the cone. Whoa. Oh. Good attempt, though, still. That was good. So close. That was good. Mm. Never mind. Uh, Carry on. Percy. <laughs> I'm going to take a, take a shot with bad news. Oh, for the love of God. No. One, 20, one. 20. So, bad news. <gasps> <Explode. Miss Miles. laughs> All right, go ahead and if you want to try and repair it. Just barely. Okay. Better. Uh, Jesus H. Christ, 24. That'll hit. 27 points of damage. Okay. So the <laughs> the blast from bad news catches the air, it slams into her side, and she's gonna be thrown off the top of the platform from the blast of it. You can see now blood streaking down on the other arm now, and she just has like blood down inside of her face, down her one arm on the other, and she's shaking in place on the platform. She sees you kind of lifting towards holding the rope at the side, and she's kind of looking at the orb, and is, doesn't even seem to really know what's going to happen. There's this anticipation and fear in her eyes. Fuck. Everything's been torn from her at this point. She's a cage animal with nothing to lose. Bear witness as I unleash him onto this world! Taking her turn, uh, she sees you rushing towards her. <laughs> she extends her finger and Oh wait, I took a potion, I took a potion, I said on the last turn, and I didn't... Use it. Uh, I don't know how much to roll for a greater healing potion. That's why I didn't do it. Uh, that is uh, 4d4 plus 4. What are you at? 76. That's your, your... She extends her finger towards you with a look. And this is kind of a point of recognition, this moment where you're like, this thing seems familiar. I know that. I'll see you suffer for what you have taken from me! Uh, you should make a constitution saving throw. Total 13. No. 45 plus 30. Uh, 75 points of necrotic damage. What but are you, you at? were at 76? Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> you're at one hit point. Are you fucking. As your life force is suddenly sucked out of your body and you manage to capture what essence of your existence still holds you aloft, drifting forward, almost toppling over in your fly spell. <laughs> At this point, she kind of looks at her finger frustrated, glances at the rest of you, and looks forward at the orb and goes, come on, come on! Um, at this point, the orb, who is now shimmering, and the blood kind of is uh, slowly spilling over the outside of the, the, the dark onyx sphere, it begins to spin and spin and spin. You've moved up to this point. Now you're like right at the edge. Why don't you go away? Um, <clears throat> the orb suddenly shrinks in a flash of an instant, becoming just this tiny speck, this little dark speck in the air, roughly uh, the size of a dime, and that's it. She waits. No, 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 no! It can't be too soon. 
Please. You promised. This can't be all there is. Please. Please. And she kind of falls to her knees. She's kind of staring at this little dark speck in the air. The writhing walls of the room kind of fall quiet again. All the bodies no longer moving. You, floating through the air, your flight ends. Fuck, fuck, fuck. You immediately plummet. Can I cast hold person? Hold person? On her? On her? Yes! It's just paralyzes If her. you want to, she's gonna paralyze her. Oh, I just paralyze? I yeah. can't, like, hold her? Freeze her in place. Um, so at that height, it's 40 feet, you fall, you take four points of fall damage. Oh, good. As you slam down into the center. <laughs> Of this. And I'm unconscious. You're unconscious on the ground. Poof. That's my first time I've ever been unconscious. Can I get to her? Can I get to her? I'm in the middle. Uh, you of guys the... are up on this roof right now. Go, fight, leap. go, fight. I'm leaping. Oh, if you oh. let me leap, I'm going to leap and go take an acrobatics it. check to. Acrobatics check, go for it. Go get her, go get 20. her. 20, natural fucking 20. Yeah. Yeah. On your feet. Parkour. Uh, I have a potion with my sister's name written on it and it's going in her mouth. All right, so well, that, that's as far as okay. you know your movement right there. Pike! How do I get, how can I get to her? Uh, you're up on top of the roof. You're uh, you're gonna have to leap down to get to her. her. You can try a spell if you want to. She's about 50 feet from you at an angle. I'll do a healing word. Okay. As you pull up your holy symbol, uh, begin casting the spell. Oh no. The divine energy seems to be almost pulled from your hand <gasps> and the spell has no effect. <gasps> So ma magic doesn't Why? work, or divine. We're in this spells. shitty room. With I was gonna say, is it because we're in this fucking room? Okay, Grog, you've gone up now with the rope to the top. No. Anybody else want to go? I'll take a shot at Lady Briarwood since I'm up here. Go for it. Uh, that's twenty-four to hit. That hits. We need more. Points. Twenty-two Don't points of damage. How do you want to do this? <gasps> Whoa! Don't you get to kill Lady Briarwood? Do it with as little blood as possible. I'm dead. <laughs> You're unconscious. I'm unconscious. I think if you kill her, it's okay. A little late. Here comes Godzilla. <sighs> Smoke billowing from your body, uh, the the essence of this creature whispering in your ear. No, do it, do it, do it. Bad news, freshly prepared, loaded. It's your birthright. Shh. <laughs> I'm gonna take, oh my God. I'm gonna take a shoulder shot on her right arm and I'm gonna try and cleave her right arm right off with the shot and see if I can just leave her unconscious. Okay, roll, roll damage. Or, or just roll damage. Uh, this is going to be, it's gonna be a constitution saving throw for her. If she can survive this wound as the right or left arm, you said? Right arm. Right arm, right arm. Not killing her. Blasts open, the bone exposed, the arm just spins off and clatters to the ground behind her. With that blast, she falls backward onto the steps behind off a platform. Falls off the steps, falls out of sight behind the pillar. You don't even see where she is. She just falls out of visual range. Get me all there is! I don't know if she's unconscious or dead or. You don't know. I'm gonna circle around to her right now. You're not gonna try to heal no, me? No, no, no. Oh, shit. You're not gonna heal me? You're yes, I am. Fuck that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can I jump down there? No, no, I'm, no, I'm, Broad, I'm feeding a person down. in my system. Acrobatics check? 18, okay, you land. Uh, you only take uh, 10 points of so casting uh, when you're damage from the fall. Okay. Uh, Fucking schmuck. Tree gets out the door going, whoa. So you're just trying to get in on this side. You're so sad. Scanlan, oh, no. do you want to try anything? I, uh, I, I can move within 30 feet of uh, Vax. Acrobatics? Acrobatics check, yeah. 23. Three. Okay, so you only take three points of damage in the fall. Going full movement from there, you can get there, Grog. Full movement, where are you going? Uh, I'd like to go straight for the Vex. Vex? Okay, that'll get you right there. 
with just your movement and then Keyleth. I'm, then... I'm, I'm going for the black thing. Uh, phrasing? I put the potion the in my hole. sister's okay, mouth. You have to go around and go up these steps to get to it. You take. Pop, 44 plus 4. Yeah, you pop off the vial, you go and pop it into her mouth, take the vial away. It doesn't appear to be any effect. Heretics. Try this, quickly. It's not working. We're losing her. We with no talk room. of, of death saves at all? Room. Get her out of the room! Get out of the room! Get her out of the room! Out out of the room. Make a death saving throw. No magic get works. Get me out of no here! Magic works. How do we get out of our... Keyleth, Ke- 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 we need vines. Eleven. Eleven. She's, that's a, 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 a success. You're okay for now. Can Fuck that bitch! Out? We need to get my sister out of this room. Keyleth, can we use vines? What can we use to get my sister out of this room now? Keyleth! No. Where's pick the her up and start running towards the door at the yeah. back of the room. What door's open? Neither. You Neither. Guys, you guys we gotta get her up and out. We gotta get her up and out. Um, what do the What do the doors look like? Uh, you can't tell from here. You're too far, and the doors are on this side and this side, and they were closed. Percival, do you have a rope? She has the rope. I pull the rope out from my sister's side, and I start lassoing it. Fuck that. Throw it up to Percival. Okay. I grab it. Uh, it takes a couple t- tries, uh, but you manage to get up to the forty foot top there. Uh, make another death saving throw. All right, I'm tying it to my sister right now. Come on. Oh, no. Fail. First fail. I've tied it around my sister. Okay. Magic doesn't work. Pike, Percy, pull. Things that have tried. So I am. Have no effect. I am going to grab grab the rope, and my- I am literally going to just jump off the side, and I'm going to just fling her up. Until okay. Oh god. Up there. Um, all right. Miss. Do it. You might miss and do hurt it. her. No, she's fine. She's already wait, dead. Wait, 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 wait. Before she, before you do this, have we tried a healing word on her? Yeah. Yes. yes. I just put a potion yes. in her mouth. Yes. Yes. Seventeen yes. points Shit. of damage from the fall. How much? How many? Seventeen points. For Done. You. I'll run to um, the door that's closest and to us. to get her up to the top. Wait, Grog, you, you want to have her right now? Pike, please help yeah. her! So you have her up there. Hey, we gotta get we gotta get her out of here, but nothing's gonna work, right? Pull her out the door and heal her, it will work. The elixir, my spell, that thing must be blocking all magic. Okay, let me try to pull her out the door. Is she over? Uh, Is she you, over? No, you, you pulled her up onto the roof. It might work on the roof. I'm okay, not actually trying to Okay, let me try it up on the roof. Try on the roof? Healing word uh, again. Come on. Okay, you pull the. Um, you're touching her. You're you, near her. Yeah, uh, you, you bring up your. Am I touching her? Cure wounds. Cure wounds. Then. Okay, so you go for cure wounds. You pull up your holy symbol. You put your hand to her. Nothing's happening. Pike, help me. She's still alive, but barely. I need to do this quickly before. Uh, ah! Pull her out of here. Make another death saving throw. Oh my god. You're not gonna die. You're not gonna die. We're gonna well, okay. save. You're safe. You're safe. Pull her out. Oh god. Right, what are you guys doing? I'm. Right here. Where is she? She's uh, on she's top, up of, on the top of the wall here. She's been lifted out by Grog. I'm running at the wall and I'm trying to climb it stupidly. Okay. Roll a climb check. Roll athletics. Penny. What about the little penny? The dime. What if, we, what if we gotta get that out of the room? What if 15? we gotta get yeah. away? Uh, you get part way up. You're Actually, trying, can I you're climbing toss? over bodies. You're using the bodies throw, from the wall to climb Can up. I throw Vax something real quick? Can I toss him something? <coughs> Here, you, you can move up and do it, yeah. I don't know. Before he runs that way, can I can I toss you the immovable rod? Uh, he, uh, he, he doesn't even pay attention. He just bolts past towards the wall. He's already out. Never mind. I'm running. I'm trying to get to this black hole. Okay. Whatever. This is what it looks Good like. call. That you get up can there I, and. Can I hit to it? Divine intervention right that, now? That's your full turn, you can. That's my full turn? You want to do divine intervention? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll. What is that? That's us. Just roll. Ask God for a favor. <laughs> roll roll uh, a d10 and then another d10 and let me know the numbers in succession. 12. You are what level? 11. Unfortunately, that just fails. Fuck. I scream at the top of my lungs pull her out of here! <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, I'm still climbing dead climb bodies. As well. I'm at the top, so I can jump we can down? gently get her yeah. down. Yeah, I can jump down with you. Okay. Okay, so I'll jump. I'll jump and hold her. Okay. Jump down. Have I reached the top? We'll say now you've 
you've managed to climb up towards the top. I yeah. want to pick up Pike under my arm like a fucking football and run forward okay. after my sister. Pick her up and bolt off the side. Once um, we hit the ground, I'm, I want to. Are we? I mean, we're outside of the room, right? Yeah. yeah. We try Cassandra's got a healing yeah, potion. Her, I've it's going to be. Uh, uh, Cassandra's got one too. 14 points of fall damage to you as you land, because okay. right now you're not carefully landing. This is just clutching her and jumping off. Yeah. You make an acrobatics check. 20. 20? Okay. Yeah, you, you managed to take only two damage from the fall. Right. Um, make another death saving throw. I believe in you. 13, good. good. Six, six saves. Save. Plus three. One. I've only found and I'm one. planting uh, Pike's glowing ectoplasm form right down on my sister's it chest. No, can I put a she just can can't I, fail three. three times? Can I put a comment? If she gets I three, she goes back to one. Are we, are we, are we outside of the place now? She succeeded three times. No, she succeeded three times. Three times. You succeeded? Twice. Three times. Three times. Three times, yeah. So with that, as you're carrying her there, there's a moment where all of a sudden Vex's eyes open and <gasps> Disgusting mud and spit turn into some healing shit. Vex <sighs> is sitting there, looking around, confused, catching her breath in Grog's arms as he's like bolting down the steps of the ziggurat. So, he's so <coughs> terrible. <laughs> Maybe we should get out of here. Do something to that little ball. I'm, I'm, I'm alone moving. with a little ball, aren't I? Everyone's. Okay, um, so I'm gonna kinda go up to it. Don't Can I tell it. any type of magical properties from it, just kind of from looking at it? Make an arcana check. Okay, uh, 19 total. 19 total? You have no idea what this is. You haven't seen something like this before. Um, you inspect it very closely, and it's its literally just like a, the sphere has been shrunk to the size. You look very closely, it looks like it's spinning impossibly fast in place. Okay, I'm gonna turn back and go check on Lady Shithead. Okay. Why am I still in this room? We should get out of here. What are the, um... I'm gonna try and open the doors from that side, see if there's any way to open them. Okay. Oh. Make a strength check. 11. Uh, 11, doors aren't budging. Here, you take your sister, I'll go back to the doors. All right. I take I go my back sister to the, I go back cradle to the over. Over. Okay. Strength check. Can I try to cure wounds again on, on Vex? Okay. You run up to Vex as as she's you know in uh, Vex's arms. Uh, once again, the spell slot is expen- expended, but no magic seems to appear. There is there is a some sort of blockage or void of magic use in this vicinity. Even outside of this building. Even outside the building. Even outside the building. Nineteen. <laughs> The doors slam open from the forest of Grog's foot. Can I make my way over to late, to Scanlan to go check on Lady Briarwood? Sure. You eventually make your way there at a full run. You run around the corner and you can see she her. Alive, dead? Uh, she is uh, on the ground, unconscious, sitting in the this this kind of uh, carved hand symbol in the ground. Um, we want this girl alive for some reason? We just reason? need to get her out of there. I don't think I can't like, move her. I'm way. Oh, okay. But we gotta figure out what we're tall. doing with the little black ball of universal death. Let's get her get, out of there. Get, let's just get us out of here. Can we just leave it? No. Can you put it in a vial? Put okay. it in a vial? Put it in a cup. <laughs> what if I, I makes pull you out a piece of that green glass that we took from before. Okay. Okay. That's smart. Give it a poke. I jam it into it. Okay. God. Uh, oh god. Just hit the black hole. Make Wait. a strength saving throw. Whoa! It's a natural 20. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> As you take the glass and jam it in there, the glass in what seems almost slow-mo seems to crackle and shatter like like brittle stone and then immediately just vanish into the darkness. As your hand gets to that point of no resistance, you feel this immediate, extremely strong suction begin to pull towards your hand, and you yank back with all your might, um, suffering 18 points of damage as you pull away from this small spinning orb. Give me some movie, don't do, don't, don't, don't touch, touch the, the orb. orb anymore. Don't touch the orb. <laughs> I'll grab Lady Briarwood and drag her out of the room towards the doors. Okay. We're not done with you yet. 
I'm picking up my sister and 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 lurching I'm after Grog. Walk. I'm picking you up and I'm lurching after Grog. So as Grog rushes visual. down the steps of the ziggurat, clutching the unconscious and bleeding body of uh, Lady Delilah Briarwood. Cassandra is still uh, tied up. Vax by the way. rushing behind, carrying the barely conscious, limp body of Vexalia. <laughs> Hey. Easy. I got it from here. Thank you, Croc. Uh, the rest of you guys racing out you, your hand bloodied from uh, the, the the terrible force of whatever that was. You go charging down the steps of the ziggurat. Uh, are you, is anyone taking Cassandra? Uh, Cassandra, are you leaving her behind? I'm taking Cassandra. Reach over and pick up Cassandra, put it over your shoulder, and you begin racing down the front of the ziggurat steps. As Vox Machina charges down the front of the steps of the ziggurat, all that for the night. Oh, God. And I rolled a one, right? As the for, no, for no reason. For no, no specific right thing. Was, well, one and a half of them. <coughs> I didn't die yet. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. I can't believe I almost died well. again from that damn death ray. By yeah, that one was, I rolled really point. well for that. One so if, if you had rolled 76 points from the crowd, dead again, instant. She'd been dead instantly, let me come back to the zombie next round. Yeah, and, and if I what? hadn't, so if I had taken that potion right before I left off, I, you would have been dead. <laughs> Thank God you oh. took that fucking potion. Alrighty, yeah. that, uh, that, that went a little longer than anticipated. You're a bad man. Ah, <sighs> and the battle with the Briarwoods is finally complete. Silas and Delilah have mostly been dealt with, but everybody's alive for the most part. Grog's got a shiny new sword. Cassandra's finally been freed of her mind control. And the people of Whitestone can breathe easy for the first time in five years. And there is definitely not some hanging loose end deep underground that's going to come bite them in the ass later on. And with that, we draw this episode to a close. Thanks to you, dear viewer, for taking the time out to watch this. And hey, if you're new here, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it lets me know that you like what you saw. Furthermore, you could hit the like button, drop a comment down below, let me know your thoughts on what you've seen so far. Also, there's an entire playlist of critical comparisons that you can go back and take a look at. Also, I have a fair amount of gaming content on here that you could peruse at your leisure. It's still a relatively new YouTube account, so if there are any thoughts or comments you could think of to help me improve the quality of my content, let me know. And with that, I bid you adieu. As always, my name is Judgment Fish, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.